my fellow engineers. In the next few minutes, I'd like to tell you about the unbeatable SBH method of open trench shoring. This animation schematically shows how a trench is created. Depending on the soil conditions of the trench area, a maximum depth of 1.25 meters or about 4 feet of soil is dug out and the first shoring plate positioned in the trench. Then the first corner rail is positioned over the shoring plate guide and lowered in place. The second shoring plate is set into the outer support guide and positioned at exactly 90 degrees to the first shoring plate. The important thing here is that the components have to create a 90 degree angle vertically and horizontally. With the same precision, the second corner rail and the third shoring plate are put in place. It's important that the alignment of the shoring plates must be parallel to one another. Now the pre-installed slide rail shoring frame is threaded into the shoring plate guides. Through excavation and alternate pressing of the plates, rails and rolling struts, the shoring of the trench finally reaches the right depth. By having free access all around the pit, the second trench field can begin even before the full shoring depth is reached. Otherwise, the first field would have to be totally installed to the full depth before proceeding. As with the first field, the pre-excavation is done to a maximum of 1.25 meters. Immediately adjacent to the first shoring field, two lengthwise shoring plates, a corner rail, and an end plate are threaded into the outer rail guides and then aligned. The fourth corner rail completes the self-contained construction trench. Upper edge of the outer shoring plate has reached the top edge of the trench. An extension plate can increase its height or, as presented in the simulation, be installed at the same level of the inner shoring plate for increased support. This is the double slide rail system with rolling struts used in pipeline trenches. Excavation of earth, the lowering of the inner plates, as well as pushing down on the guide rails take place in succession. And that's all there is to it. It's always this easy when you work precisely. That's enough animation. Let's go to a job site, to Alsfeld in Germany. Should the need arise, SBH will provide a specialist at the site to support the civil engineer with advice and hands-on assistance. When it comes to trench shoring, we put a great deal of emphasis on careful planning and attention to detail. This team has had a lot of experience in using SBH shoring systems for pipe laying. However, this is the first actual pit shoring for these men. But as you can see, despite limited space and flowing traffic, everything is going just fine. In this former medieval city, the sewer system has long been in need of improvement. And now it's getting that improvement in the form of new sewage pipes that will be driven under the busy street above. The starting trench for this section is being dug. Up to now, the soil has proven to be good for this operation. However, even under difficult ground conditions with high earth pressure, the shoring is easily installed. The use of cables on the shoring plates simplifies the jobs of threading and handling. The trench is up. Now come the inner plates. Rails are used to protect the plates, which also have to withstand heavy blows during installation. Because of the high quality steel construction, the system can be used thousands of times over. Several weeks have now gone by. On the driving construction site, everything is running smoothly, although in the meantime, large boulders have cropped up along the pipeline route. Nonetheless, the trench does its job perfectly and with an installation time of only one and one-half days. 
It offers people and machinery a safe area in which to work, in the midst of flowing traffic at practically any depth. Change of location. Let's have a look at our neighbors to the west. Along the course of a long pipeline, we find various start and receiving pits for pipe jacking. Because of the soil conditions here, in addition to the trench shoring material, also SBH, sheet piles in combination with SBH pile camber plates are being used in order to have enough space for the pressing of the pipes. Right next to these water conduits, huge pipes are being laid in a construction site, shoring naturally by SBH. Strut-free construction trench? No problem. In this case, all you need are a number of ingenious components from SBH and steel girders from an iron dealer. And this makes the struts unnecessary. The SBH clamping device is set in the middle rolling strut and thus connects the shoring sheeting with the lengthwise running whalers. These are supported by the corner rails to which built-up forces are directed. A cross support must be laid in the trench floor between the slide rails. This is done with the use of an H-frame. Other kinds of supports could also be used. Often the concrete floor, which in any case has to be poured for parts of the structure, is used for support. Now the rolling strut can be removed. Let's go out to a job site once again. Here in Niedersissen, a pit is being built for a new development area. Therefore the trench goes straight down. The construction company has relied on SBH many times in the past when constructing trenches. And because it's SBH, the work moves along rapidly. What are the advantages of this method of constructing trenches? First, be aware that SBH shoring materials already on hand, such as plates, rolling struts, and slide rails could be used. Trench depths can go down as far as 9 meters, or about 29 feet. Installation takes place almost free of vibration. There's a considerable savings in terms of time and material when compared to the sheet piling method. The installation of such a trench is possible even in cramped building areas and is usually completed with only one excavator in one day. In designing our individual shoring components, we follow TBG guidelines, the norms EN 13331 and DEAN 4124 and OSHA regulations. However, let's return to the work being done. The trench is finished. Next comes the installation of the steel frame to absorb the middle cross forces. With the use of the SBH clamping device, the middle rolling strut frame is connected with the outer lengthwise running whalers. These are supported by the corner rails to which built up forces are transferred. This is how things must look in order to be really safe. Now the other outer side. With the same degree of care, the second whaler is installed. As soon as the trench floor is secure, the rolling struts can be pulled out. Now there's plenty of room for building the pit. Because of the enormous concrete components, the middle support has to be taken out. Now there's enough space to take care of the job without any problem. As you can see, a concrete plate, which will later be part of the collector, is built into this trench. Let's go forward in time once again. The pit is finished and the empty spaces between the walls and plates are being filled and sealed in layers. The inner plates can be pulled out. Now is when precision work really pays off. Despite the pressures and resulting frictional resistance, 
Disassembly is no problem at all. In this phase, compacting against shifting earth is extremely important. Afterwards, the outer plates can be pulled out. Then come the slide rails one after the other. In the beginning of the film, did we promise too much? You saw for yourself. Trench construction with innovative SBH materials is fast, flexible, and safe. <laughs>